Imagine a tidal wave, not of water, but of thick, sticky molasses tearing through a city. That's exactly what happened in Boston on January 15, 1919. The Great Molasses Flood began when a giant steel tank holding over 2 million gallons of molasses suddenly ruptured. But how could something so bizarre occur? The tank, built hastily in 1915, had thin steel walls and was never properly tested for leaks or strength. During a warm spell following a cold snap, fermentation inside the tank created excess pressure. The combination of weak construction, poorly mixed steel, and rapid temperature change proved catastrophic. Suddenly, the tank exploded with a thunderous roar, unleashing a 25-foot-high wave of molasses traveling at 35 miles per hour. The syrup flattened buildings, overturned vehicles, and trapped unsuspecting pedestrians in its path. Rescue efforts were hampered by the sticky mess as workers struggled to free victims and clear debris. The tragedy claimed 21 lives and injured over 150 more. The disaster shocked the nation and led to strict new standards for engineering safety and accountability. Like and subscribe for more.